Hi guys, this is Joe here from Rufio. Welcome to the channel. If this is your first time here, welcome aboard. You should definitely consider hitting the subscribe and the notification bell before you go any further and realize how fucking garbage this content is. And if this is not your first time on the channel, you may well be acquainted with my pet pug who's decided to just come and trash the entire fucking room on his way in. So if you do hear any crazy noises throughout the video, it's a good possibility it's his fault. Bertie, what are you doing, man? What are you doing? This is what I have to part with. But in either case, thank you very much for coming along. I do appreciate you being here. For today's video, we are taking a look at Trickstar. That's right, that deck that has been long since forgotten, and many people are very happy that that is the case. However, Trickstar is still a really fun deck to play, and it's actually still pretty budget-friendly, all things considered. Now, this particular build is less so, but for the most part, you can still pick up the majority of the deck relatively cheap. The downshot, of course, to all of this is the fact that you've only got one light stage, which is a huge issue for the deck, but it doesn't really matter. In this particular build, we're looking to be particularly ignorant of what our opponent wants to do. We are focusing on using Dragoon. Now, with the exception of the Dragoon package, the cards that are in here are relatively budget-friendly, as discussed, and the ones that aren't can certainly be replaced with ones that are. And on that topic of singles, if you are feeling inspired from today's video and you're looking to pick up some Yu-Gi-Oh! singles, or even Pokemon ones for that matter, you should check out the channel sponsors Jam Jam Cards UK. There will be a link in the description to their eBay store, and courtesy of yours truly, you'll get yourself a cheeky discount if you go ahead and use it. But anyway, that's enough waffling on from me. Let's get stuck in to the deck profile. So let me apologise if you do hear the fans going crazy in the background. Hopefully we can take that out with some video editing at the end. Again, as promised for today's video, we are looking at Trickstar Dragoon. Most of this can be done on a bit of a budget. To be honest with you, most of the Trickstar stuff now is relatively easy to pick up because nobody wants to use it. The pots, on the other hand, can be quite expensive. So can the Dragoon package and so can be Access Code Talker. The only thing is, is that Access Code Talker can, of course, be submitted out for Borrow Sword if you want something else the dragoon package is kind of unique to uh, itself so there's not really anything you can swap out for that however if you wanted to cut the dragoon package you can definitely go ahead and do so and save yourself a ton of money now in all the testing that i've done online with this deck so far i've been able to get dragoon out pretty much the first turn every single game which is absolutely fantastic that's probably what your aim is and then the rest of the trick star stuff just carries itself as being a really fucking annoying engine this is guaranteed to bring the salt ladies and gentlemen so definitely enjoy it whilst you play it if you're an avid trick star player then you might have fun with this it's certainly not a perfect build but definitely something you can piss people off with which is always a nice feeling so we start with triple copies of Corabane because our aim here is to get two bodies on board so that we can go into vert anaconda and go off from there having an option for this is always good it can be a little bit bricky but having the three available to you does mean that you can open it more often than not and you've got a free body to summon on board so it's not always terrible of course if you're drawing it a bit later in the game it can be a bit annoying but Honestly, for the most part, it works out quite nicely. We have triple copies of Candina. Of course, Candina does everything that it needs to do. I really don't need to elaborate on this, I'm pretty sure. Triple copies of Lycris. Again, being able to just do that whole bounce thing is really good. If nothing else, if your Dragoon system fails, you can always just go back to Trickstar nonsense and just try and burn your opponent out for a ton of damage and control the board. And cards like Licorice just help you do that. And of course, Lily Bell, you know the old nonsense without being able to get a bunch of damage in for free, being able to get free bodies on board all of that good stuff and of course if nothing else it can help you really easily get into Predator Plan Vert Anaconda and go off from there. Now we're on to some Garnets of course we've got Dark Magician and Red Eyes these are for the package and then of course we've gone to Hand Traps which have a brick in here with Driver but that's pretty self-explanatory of course that is needed for your gammas. We also have triple copies of Droll and Lockbird. I think it's too strong not to play in Trickstar now, to be quite honest with you. The whole Droll lock combo is just absolute bullshit with reincarnation, and I think you have to take advantage of it if you're going to play this deck. And triple copies of Ash Blossom and Joyous Spring, this deck can suffer quite 
badly to hand traps. Uh, Ash Blossom can obviously deal with the likes of Gamma, so that is something to keep in mind. But it also means that you can hit back at your opponent and go from there. If you wanted to, you can omit some of the hand traps and go for a more trap-heavy lineup. I just quite like the build that we've got here. We then move on to our field spells. We've got three different ones in here. So we start off with one light stage. Of course, it is at one. So that is exactly what we're running. If we could run more, of course, we would be playing more. A single copy of live stage just for token generation is always nice. But the fact that it can get trick stars back into your hand from the grave is a little bit of a decent option. It's not insane, but it definitely helps the deck go around a little bit. And then we have the classic Mystic Mind, because it's a free win. This card genuinely does win games for free. Especially if you're going second, your opponent sets up a massive board, but they don't have a spell negate, which can happen more often than you'd think. And you slap this down, and then you just win the game on the spot, because they have no out. A lot of people aren't maining uh, ways to out back row, and this card can be a free win for that purpose alone. Of course, you just slide it out after game one, after you got your nice free win. Your opponent's always going to be scared of it, so they're going to try and play around it as well, which can also put them a little bit on the back foot. And at this stage, you're playing Trick Stars, so you might as well just embrace the full degeneracy and go for Mystic Mine as well. Now, we have a single copy of Terraforming, because it's at one. If it was at more than one, we would play more. We have a single copy of Call by the Grave. As mentioned earlier, this deck can suffer to hand traps quite heavily, so this can help you get there. It's good on the offense, good on the defense. It's in most decks that I build for that reason alone. We have a single copy of Red Eyes Fusion. That's because, well, we're running Dragoon, so why else? We're running triple copies of Pot of Prosperity. Extravagance isn't quite as good in this particular build because I like all the utility options you have in the extra deck. The problem with Extravagance, of course, is that the expensive cards in this extra deck are most of your crucial ones with the likes of Dragoon and Predaplan Vert Anaconda. So unless you want triple copies of each, you risk banishing them and then killing off your entire engine. We've got triple copies of Trap Trick. We run two other trap cards in here, which are our targets, which of course are Trickstar Reincarnation, which is a compulsory three of in this deck, and triple copies of Infinite Impermanence. If you don't have Impermanence, of course, you can be other hand traps or other trap cards, so you've got more trap trick targets. But this is really strong, of course, going first or going second. It's good in either case. We then move on to the extra decks. So we start off with Link Karibo. This is, of course, for our tokens, so that's a good way of getting rid of those. Link Spider is much the same. We have two copies of Holly Angel. Honestly, I think that that's all you need in here. You definitely don't need the third. Often you won't go into the second, but if you get stuck into a bit of a grind game, then these can come up. We have a single copy of Crimson Heart. I actually really like this card for being able to draw you a little bit deeper into your deck as quickly as possible. Again, it's not absolutely insane, but there are games where it definitely comes up. IP Mask Rainer for interrupting the opponent. Again, I'm pretty sure I don't need to elaborate on this one. Predaplant Vert Anaconda, that's for the Dragoon Engine. Again, sure I don't need to elaborate on this one. Lambda's another one of the pricier cards in this deck. Uh, honestly though, Lambda's just insane. If you can get it onto the board, it's a really good option. Especially if you're, you think your opponent has the likes of Nibiru, it can help interrupt them and all of that good stuff by having access to Gamma during their turn, even with cards on the board. We have Nightmare Phoenix and Nightmare Unicorn. These are our utility cards, of course, that we're usually going to go into off IP Mascarena just to help clear up the opponent's board, either break it or, of course, interrupt them if that's what we're into. And likewise, we can use the likes of Zeroboros to interrupt our opponent as well. You can also use what's uh, Topologic Trisbane as another good option. Uh, again, just didn't have the space in here for it, but something you could definitely consider. We have Topologic Bomber Dragon in here. There's, again, there's just certain decks that just absolutely fucking lose to this card. So this is a really good option against particular decks. And finally, we have a single copy of Access Code Talker in here. Again, if you want to save some money, you can use Boral Sword instead and push for more damage, particularly if you want to use the likes of the uh, Goat Token Engine. So something you can consider. We have a single copy of Dragoon because Dragoon is absolutely busted, so you need to play it in this particular deck. And of course, the whole engine is in here for that reason. And a single copy of Omega because we can make it nice and easily. Again, this particular build isn't super competitive, but it is a ton of fun to piss your opponents off. And that's exactly what we do with this one. And that, comrades, is all for today's video. Thank you very much for making it this far into the video. You're one of the few who does. If you made it this far, you should possibly consider seeing some professional help. But hopefully, by virtue of the fact that you made it this far into the video, you've liked it enough to hit subscribe or couldn't possibly look away. In either of those cases, thank you very much for making it this far into the video. I do genuinely appreciate it. Now, it's worth noting that this isn't the only kind of content that we do on the channel. We do how to play videos on top of the deck profiles that we're doing largely at the moment due to the whole thing that's going on in the world. And we can't get to physical events, but I don't want to get demonetized by talking about it too much. On top of that, we do the likes of combo tutorials, locals vlogs, and event vlogs when those are back on as well. And I'm always open to suggestions, so if there are things that you would like to see on the channel, definitely reach out and let me know. But anyway, that's enough of your time taken up from the waffling from myself. Thank you very much for coming along. Again, I do really appreciate you being here. And I'll see you in the next one.
This content is brought to you in association with my buddies over at Jam Jam Cards UK. You can find the links to the eBay store and the Facebook page in the description.